Hello and welcome back. Today we're looking at a game called Pine. Uh, it's been a while since we've put anything up, but I've been pretty sick. Uh, so we're just trying to get through that still, but hopefully we will continue going back to uploading things every day. Uh, so I've played this game for several hours. Um, I'm actually not very good at it at all. Uh, but that's all right. It's a lot of things in the world can change. For instance, as you take over certain tribes, you can kick them out of areas. They can kick you out of areas. Uh, but we'll take a look here for a little bit. So far, I've really liked the graphics. It's it's really uh, pretty minimalistic. And the main character's name is Hugh. Yeah, like I said, I really, I really like it for as simple it is. It's as small as a team that worked on this game. And Marla's looking for me. We've got to get these preparations done. Looks like we're building a treehouse. All right, it looks like we need stiff rope and stuff cloth. So it looks like we've got to go bother a couple people for that. Alright, it looks like we can make some ourselves for today's celebrations, and we can receive an idea. And it looks like then we can craft it. And so how that would be is once you have it in your equipment, you can craft it. So it looks like we need two wood in order to do that. We're going to go ahead and grab some moss here. I don't think that guy needs anything, so we're just going to skip on by him. And it looks like these are just simple quests to get us into the crafting. So we're going to take a look over here, and it looks like we can already create one of those.
We've got more moss right here. I believe. I thought that there would be wood up here. That's alright, we will actually need these cones later for something, so we'll just hold on to those. And so your whole village starts up on this cliff. You are essentially cliff dwelling people. There is a sneak element to it as well. It makes it harder for them to hear you, but I haven't used that very much. Uh, there's also a whole block element when you get a shield. I also not use that very much. Oh, here's the wood. I was being silly. All right. And I think that's all we needed, and we can go back. Yeah, and they they call it into they call it the out it is outside of their uh, little habitat. And now it looks like I need to go find my brother. So we'll head back down here to his favorite place. And his name is Amam. <laughs> and you're gonna have to forgive me on the sniffles there. It's like I said, I'm still just getting through being sick. And I probably shouldn't go through that so fast. Um, he, sa he says there's a cave that we have to go check out before the ceremony. Says he has something he has to show me. Ito take a guayet in Tepecho. He's telling me to grab some of these meager yams. Alright, now it shows us our energy. Which is going to be in the top left, you got the top one's going to be your health. And then the next one, next to the little energy sign, obviously, is going to be your energy. And we're just going to come. Oh, yeah, that's not right, that is. I'm just going to come through and pick up all the food. Raho, not more pinito beach your maxim hanyatin. Thought I saw something over here. Nope. Alright, so we will go see what he wants to show us here. Alright, 
fighting. My brother's quite the crafty one. He's made us a slingshot. And that was just a little quick tutorial showing you how to use it. But we're smart people. Draw, shoot. Pretty simple. And he's just racing in there without a care. got a sword. He called it a real adventure tool. If I swing it, I'll look really powerful. That's what I like to do, is look powerful. I don't like to be powerful. And this is something else I don't do a lot of, the heavy attack, because it just takes a while to power up. In fact, I routinely get my butt kicked by monsters, so I would expect to uh, see that. I suppose that I could just go run to their cities and try to be friendly with them. Also don't do a lot of that either. Maybe I should, uh, you know, start mixing it up. For one who's crafty, he seems like a fool. Left, left, right. Okay. I can't possibly know what that could ever mean. <laughs> Let's eat some food if you have any. Why are you taking my food, bro? Man, so before I figured out there was a jump, this one took me forever. I tried dashing across it so many times. So foolish. not really much up there to be had anyway. Alright, so they look like humans. And there's an adventurer who came from the out. And then he left. And he seems to think it's their ancestors on the cliff. Now all of a sudden we should hurry to the ceremony. He said, let's push forward, let's push forward. Now, all of a sudden, it's, we're late, let's go back. Oh 
and of course she's right there waiting for us. You are in trouble, I mister. Try it. I don't care what you found. Sounds like the Lion King. Don't care what you were doing. You know how much trouble you're in. So you can run out of stamina. It's kind of rough. But I mean, every charge is pretty fast, so. Oh no. Oh. Wonderful at home. That could end your adventure pretty quick. thing he does is slap it. So it looks like we've made a new friend. Got his nose for adventure. So we got off one of the Tambus. And this alpha found. So need some marwood and some stiff rope. So one of the things that I do really like about this game, and and it's just it's the simplest thing that makes it so easy. Uh, the looting system, yes, you have to hold down 
a button to loot. However, uh, if you just hold the button as opposed to like, all right, so for instance, if you hold it once, you pick it up. You hold it again, you pick it up. But if you just hold on to the button, it'll continue picking it up, so it'll do it faster. And the, uh, for instance, when you start, uh, actually taking down mobs, you will pick up their loot faster. I don't know how much of this we need, so we'll just make two of them. Okay, well, it looks like that's how many we needed. Let's go into these caves. We've got a pretty simple pulley system here. first monster. <laughs> We're gonna sneak up on him. I didn't know I could do this like this, that's funny. Don't like that. Whew, looking good, the first one out. <laughs> we'll have plenty of time to change that. out the main way. All right, so now we got to find my brother and share the story. And we're out of stamina. Like I said, it refills fast. So we can already run again. Man, this place is a mess. Did you guys get this cleaned up? Oh no. They thought they lost me too. Dang, keyword there. <laughs> call it wonderful creature and he says did it hurt you dang lost four people 
It's very serious. I see, and there's first first sign their denial. More denial. Get the rest out, buddy. Get to the anger. Now we're gonna go check his check his favorite place. Oh no, it's his map. Dang, he, his brother was ambitious. He was gonna map the whole world. Yeah, it's kind of sad beginning. Hugh, let's do it. Let's set out, buddy. And there we have it. Here is Pine. got his map and we can start filling it out for him oh yeah this guy built a bridge appreciate you oath Oth, whatever your name is I don't dialect so well kind of don't want to mess with you. I mean, I will. Alright, I will. I'll mess with you. Just remember, you wanted this. Exactly why I don't like doing the heavy attacks. He's gonna heal through everything I just did to him. That's a just skill. Would you stop healing? Show you this real fast. See how fast this goes. 
Yeah, it's way more convenient. I don't really want to go mess with that dude. Oh, is he fighting somebody else? He is fighting somebody else. Maybe I'll watch him die. Come back and get his loot. He's about to get smacked around. some eggs we got some more food we get some more feathers all right let's go see what this guy had oh man he has all kind of stuff but we're like full stuff. Um, dang, that's rough. Alright, that's okay. We're kind of where we need to be anyway. Oh, hey, fella. is full of creatures much stronger and smarter than you and me. Well, smarter than you at least. That hurts. center of the island. Alright, so we have relationships that we can have, well, that we have to maintain with people. And there's a village right down here, so we're going to go take a look and see what we can add into their drop box. These guys aren't necessarily hostile, but they're not uh, friendly by any means. So we are just going to give them... Let's go ahead and just start with some food. Everybody loves food. And give them some materials as well. Dang, how much... Okay, yeah, you guys can just have all the wood. I didn't realize... We've got to keep those cones. Uh, we're just going to give them that. That's fine. And they're happy enough that we can go into their base. Like, that's not going to be a problem. I'm going to go up and see if that stuff uh, despawned or not. <laughs> kind of get an idea how that works real fast. Because that would be wonderful if it was still here.
Oh, it is. Alright, so it looks like it stays around for a little bit. So we can go give them the rest of this and then they should be friendly with us. and now we're allied with them so that was really fast so as long as you don't uh, go in fighting them you can you can give them quite a bit of stuff I mean quite a bit of stuff but it was just junk we had picked up I don't we can't hold a lot of stuff right now uh, we will address that there's a quest we can do in a little bit but here we go here's the merchant <laughs> Stranger the look, the deeper the pockets. That's interesting. So gatherers and traders, they'll accumulate items, and then the the trader will have them. Gatherers will constantly collect materials from the area around the village and bring it to the trader's table. Materials are essential for producing armor and expanding the village. Village traders also marked on your map. They will only trade with you or if you are friendly with their species. Not even if not on not even when you are neutral. Well, guess what, buddy? We're allied, so trade with me. We're done. I don't really care. Alright, so this is going to show you everybody's standing with this tribe. The red's hostile, white's neutral, green is uh, allied. All right, and something interesting to note is that these guys that are here, this particular species, was not the species that was here when I, my first playthrough, uh, when I had started a game just to kind of look at it myself. It's, they're more of a alligator faction, we'll, we'll check them out at some point when we get around to them. But here we go. This is going to tell you a tower. That is quite a tower. Okay, so this is the totem. It tells you how things are going. So we got the population, we've got food, and then we've got materials. And it looks like it's determined by the flame. We'll tell you how. Uh, how big the village is, which that's, a, that's pretty interesting. And it looks like we've got King, King Villager over here, his name's Orle. And it's been decades since they've seen humans, poor fellas. And he doesn't care that we're looking for a place to live. And thanks me for my donation. All 
right, we've got our shield. We've just got to go get it. So we've got our shield. Let's go ahead and equip that. All right. And so if we hold our trigger, it will bring up our shield. And as you can see on the shield on the left side, the icon, it has a stamina bar. And if you take your hits or receive hits while you're holding the shield, the uh, you'll lose stamina as well. But I think this is a good place to go ahead and leave off. Uh, if you've made it this far, thanks for your patience with uh, me being sick and not posting anything. Uh, but appreciate you, and we'll.